A garage fire in North Spokane started by a homeowner torching weeds is prompting firefighters to ask homeowners to be cautious during this dry streak. KXY4's Allie Norton is working for you tonight. She has details on the incident and the consequences the homeowner could face. Firefighters were able to extinguish this blaze pretty quickly, which resulted in minimal damage to this garage behind me. The homeowner admits the fire probably started when he was burning weeds in his yard yesterday morning. He doesn't want to reveal his identity, but still showed KXLY4 what he used to get rid of the pesky plants. It's out in the garage, but it, it's exactly like this. He says he made a mistake and thought the weed patch was extinguished thoroughly when he left for lunch. Luckily, his neighbors saw what was happening and quickly responded. Uh, the neighbor over there come, come back from uh, uh, grocery shopping and he saw the smoke coming up and he called the fire department. There's only about $500 worth of damage. While it's a little incident, it comes with a bigger message. A burn ban remains in effect for the state of Washington and there are consequences for anyone disobeying that. This incident could come with a fine. If it's open burning, so it would be a reckless burning ticket most, most likely. While it might be obvious to not not use a torch in fire weather, you might not know that some power tools are banned too. The Department of Natural Resources has most of Spokane County under a level two for industrial fire precautions. That means people can only operate power saws outside between the hours of 8 p.m. and 1 p.m. They also must stay an hour after using it to monitor for flare-ups. This weather is hard to battle fire with. This is hot. Uh, Fire moves incredibly fast. We've had wind come through Spokane that's really changed the dynamics on the ground and, and really complicated the situation for us. The homeowner says he will think twice before burning weeds again. So a lesson learned the hard way, but thankfully avoiding the ultimate consequence. Reporting in North Spokane, I'm Allie Norton, KXLY 4 News.